Welcome back to the Transport Bandits channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. And you're watching the Transport Bandit channel. This is the fun side of RV transport. Because we just delivered up in Indio, California. We're taking Highway 111 down on the east side of the Salton Sea. You just saw the video of Bombay Beach. If you haven't, you need to check that out right now. Yeah. That was the weirdest, wackiest, craziest place we had ever visited. The lowest bar in the Western Hemisphere. It looks like this. Go watch it after this video. But right now, where are we going? We're going to Slab City. Slab City? What's Which that? is the last lawless town in America. It's off grid. Everybody there is lawless. And it's so, perfect for the transport bandits. It is perfect for bandits. Let's do a bandity thing. Let's do it. Now, yes, we're going to take you to Slab City. Come with us. Check it out. Let's go.
place is awful. Look at this place. Oh my gosh, look at the trash here. That's crazy. With the trash just a transient type of community we have the windows rolled down so we're getting a nice breeze through here it's a beautiful day but man that trash is that's just something ridiculous the 666 place. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting this. This is the like a resort for transients. Yeah, it's so. pretty shocking. It's really shocking. Shocking that people live this way. It's crazy. You know, I thought California was supposed to be so environmentally correct. Um, Ecologically friendly. Yeah, not so much not here. Not so much here. Yeah, this is just insane. This is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. It's just trash fill. It's just crazy that people live out here like this. But you saw it here on Transport Bandits. We brought it to you. We did. Miles of it. All right, this is the back side of the Church of Enlightenment. That's the Tower of Enlightenment. Um, yeah, I'm enlightened, aren't you, Jeff? School bus a school bring, bus runs out here. To bring kids home from yeah. school? Who comes and picks them up? Yeah. 
Because, well, there are residents of Slab City. Yeah, I know. And you think they have school children here? That yes, live here? they do. That's crazy. I know. That's weird. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> Mr. Bones doesn't think much of this place. You know, Cheryl, they claim this is an artist community. But really... It's off-grid living. Really, all it is is homeless drug addicts gluing junk together. That's all it is. They get high and glue stuff on stuff. That's it. And so you don't think this is very artistic? No. Mr. Bones agrees with you? Yes. They just are doing drugs and gluing stuff on things. Think so? Yeah. I know. So you so. don't think this is a nice community for off-grid living? No. No. I don't think no. so either. And it's, you know, Mr. Bones they can agrees. call themselves artists if they want to, but they're just drug addicts glue and junk together that's all that's all let's get out of here before the sun goes down this is a lawless town the last lawless town in america oh, school bus coming here back here comes the school bus there it goes man i feel sorry for the kids that live out here Wanna go eat? There's the Slab City Kitchen. No, thank you. And this is a Salvation Mountain art installment. basically the caretaker of the mountain here. Awesome! How are you doing? How do you like living out here? That's awesome. And do you have, you don't have like air conditioner, televisions? Do you have cell I phone have service? This. I have all that stuff. Oh, you do have all that oh, stuff? Yep. 
Awesome. But to have all that stuff, you got to have your own power. That's, I think, where you were going with with this. If you don't have solar power, you don't have a generator, you don't. Your TV is worthless. Yeah. What do you use? Solar. Solar. Especially with gas prices, it'd be foolish to do a generator, and yeah. it's noisy too. About how many people live here right now? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't know. Have no idea. Yep. He was telling me he's the one that take, keep, takes care of the whole mountain, keeps it looking the way it looks right now. This is a more of a busier time now, though. Yeah, because it's cooler out here. How hot does it get out here in the summertime? Um, generally, it's in the one like one tens for most of the summer. But it can get up to 128, which is pretty hot. Do you know how long it took them, or is this a continuing art piece? Uh, it took 28 years. 28 years? I built the whole place. And Leonard Knight was his name. And he built everything. Dug, dig the clay out of the sand hill, mix it with water and hay, shape it into you know, whatever you want. Paint it, paint it, paint it. Do you have any festivals or art um, get-togethers or anything like that that occurs here? No, we don't do anything like no that. No events of any kind? Like nope. The first Saturday of November, we celebrate Leonard, his birthday. We do a volunteer work party. We get a birthday cake. And awesome. You know, there's a lot of you know storytelling and whatnot. And are these your kitties? Um, yep, yeah, the Salvation Mountain Kitty Family. Salvation Mountain Kitty Family, right there. And what about what about the puppy? That's it. Hey, Samson. How you doing there, puppy dog? I love it. Well, thank you, Ron, for giving me a little bit of information about Salvation Mountain here at Slab City. Here's, here's a little more information. Yeah. Come on out. I give you the day tours. Samson, he will give you the night tours. Uh -oh. <laughs> Daytime tours. You know, they're a little they're a little more festive. Uh -huh. Nighttime tours are a lot of screaming and ah. <laughs> <laughs> virtually all the worst parts of the Bible, right? Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> Thank you, Ron. You've Thank been you. a great help. We appreciate it. Thank you. Come on out visit everybody. Come on out here to Slab City, California. We're on one highway one eleven. Um, just on the east side of Salton Sea. Headed down to the Mexico border. So that was it for Slab City. The guy that's lived here seven years told me that we shouldn't be here after dark. So. No, we're getting out of here now. This may be the most unbeautiful place we'll ever take you guys. Yeah, it's sad. But the guy told us not to be here after dark. Yep. The guy that's lived here for seven years. It is the most lawless town. Yeah, so. You know, I can handle myself, but I'd hate to see Cheryl cry. Oh, yeah. I'm crying right now. That's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> No, this is a this has been a real experience seeing something that is this shocking to me. I don't know. It might not to be shocking too. to you if you live like in some place like a tent city in Portland or somewhere like that. But it might not be shocking. Oh, well, this is still shocking. Yeah. It's pretty shocking yeah. the way these people live right now. True. It's shocking. All right, you ready to get on down the road? Yep. Let's head on the next video. On the next episode of Transport Bandits, we'll finally be going to Mexico. El Mexico, andale, andale, arriba. All right, so if you want to see that, subscribe. Subscribe right now. Like this, you know, even if you didn't like what you see, but you like the video and the fact that we brought this to you, so you can be aware that Slab City exists here in America. Yeah. Press that like button. Comment down below. And Tell subscribe. us what you think. Yeah, tell us what you think about this video yeah, down below. Yeah, we need below. comments. And share the video over to your Facebook page. We appreciate all of you for watching. You know who you are. My All my regulars, and you know who you are. Yep. I look forward to your comments. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Any newbies on here, thank you for subscribing. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you for helping our channel grow. Because this is the fun side of RV transport. It is.
you know, we just delivered a camper. Once we deliver and we drop off, we're free to do whatever we want. All right, Cheryl. And we ended up here in Slab City. Yes. Now, let's head to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico. Transport, Transport bandits, bandits out. out. I just talked to a guy that's lived here for seven years. And he said, really, it's probably better if you're not here after dark.